Hello everyone and welcome to another finale tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a rather unusual technique in finale and that is using the bass clef and the treble clef on the same staff at the same time. This comes up in music occasionally, not too often, and trying to do this traditionally using the clef tool is rather unsuccessful. So I'm going to show you a workaround on how to create something like this. So for example, just to walk you through what's going on here, you have an A pedal being held in the bass clef. That's being held over to the next measure. And this soprano line in the treble clef is on a G going down to an F sharp and to an E, this line up here. So how you read this is you have a bass clef, you play the A, and then you have the treble clef going for the rest of it right here, even though you're still holding this A right here. Sounds pretty simple, but it's uh, it's actually pretty complicated, and Finale doesn't play nice with this. And I'm covering how to make it look like this. This will not play back correctly. This will play back incorrectly in the bass clef, but uh, the most important thing about Finale is trying to make something look you know, performable and playable. So let's get right into it. So this acts, before I get started, this post comes from a post on the Finale Power Users Facebook uh, page. And um, I'm just gonna walk you through how to create something like this. This is not the best solution, but uh, let's just jump into it. So first thing we'll need to do, let's just get rid of, uh, well, let's just start right here. I'm gonna just go ahead and put a solid bar marking right there. First thing you need to do is get the clef tool, put down a bass clef. You can do this by pressing the number four and then just clicking and you can, you can adjust it. I've already got a bass clef right here. It's redundant, but just for demonstration purposes, we're doing it. We'll need to be in layer two. So that's shift alt and the number two on your keyboard to get to layer two. And I'm just going to place it right here. Tie that. There you have that. We'll need to be in layer uh, one. So shift alt and the number one. I'm using simple entry, of course. And then this is going to be in the, this is going to sound in the bass clef. This is all bass clef, but uh, it's going to appear as treble. So you've got that down. And I'm just going to add the slur just to be accurate. And so now here comes the tricky bit. We're going to make a treble clef using the articulation tool. So go ahead and click on the articulation tool and click on a note. And you'll notice that there's no treble clef here except for right here, which is what I made. But apart from that, you see there's no treble clef, so we need to create one. So go ahead and click create. And you'll need to be in maestro font, which by default you should be in. Uh, go ahead and click main under the symbols right here. And we'll be looking for number 38 for treble clef. By the way, you have 63 is the bass clef and 66 is the alto clef. So, but for here, we're going to choose 38, click select. Now this is going to be oversized, so let me show you what I mean. If I just select it, it's going to be really huge. So, but we can adjust that. That's really easy. Double click it. Right here, it says set font. And the right size is about 20. We should be a maestro. Make sure it's regular. Uh, 20 size font should be should be fine. 18 is a little on the small side, but 20 should be uh, should be fine. Select, hit OK, and now you've got a properly sized treble clef, and you can just position it thereabouts, and you can nudge it using the arrow keys to where you want it. And that's pretty much how you do it. Um, I hope that was useful. I hope that shows you how to uh, do it. Again, it will not play back the way it looks, so keep that in mind. Thank you all very much for tuning in. I hope you found this useful. 
leave a like if this was useful for you. And if you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.